G'day everyone, how are you going? Look, uh, I've got asked to do this belt question one. Now, you might see this in a couple of different ways. Um, the belt is one way where this is uh, some pulley or some wheel, uh, and you've got a, a conveyor belt of sorts going around. This question was actually phrased in the idea that it's a racetrack, and uh, you've got a circular part of the racetrack, a straight, a circular part, and a straight. I haven't drawn this in yet. It doesn't matter how the question's phrased, the three things that you need is the radius of the bigger circle, the radius of the smaller circle, and the distance between the two. If you've got that, you can work out the distance around the outside. Now, it's quite a complex question, lots to work out. I'm not gonna work this one out for you, but I'll show you everything you need to do to work it out. Right, so, first thing to recognize is this line is going to be a tangent to both circles. Tangent meaning it's at 90 degrees. Okay, so now with that idea in play, that means that this angle here and this angle here being 90 degrees, that means that this one here and this one here are parallel. Now, this is the trick. If I go from the smaller one to some point along here, right, such that that is 32, right? So if I make a line from here to there, such that that distance there is 32 meters, the same as this, well, that means that that is going to be 90 degrees and that is going to be 90 degrees. There's a rectangle in there, okay? There's a rectangle sitting right in there, okay? Now, that then means that this side's got to be 90 degrees and this distance here has to be 28 meters. Right, so let's pull that triangle out. Rip this triangle out. Now I'm going to try and draw it as accurately as I can uh, and it's going to look like that. Can you see how this triangle right here I've just pulled out. Now, the 90 degree is actually there. It might not quite look like it, but that's where the 90 is, because the other side of that has to be 90. This distance here is 28, and this distance here is 68 between. 68 is the hypotenuse, right? Because it's opposite the right angle. So this distance here is actually going to be equal to the square root of 68 squared minus 28 squared, whatever that is. I don't care about that, what that is, but it's going to be a little bit small, okay? Now, do I really need to work that out? Probably not really, but yeah, we've done it anyway. What I really want to work out is the angle in here and the angle in here. Those are the two angles that I want to work out, but because it's a right angle triangle, then that and that must sum to 90 degrees, sum to 90 degrees. So if I work one out, I can easily work the other one out. So what am I gonna do? Well, use the numbers that you've been given, right angle triangle. So here, remember this is the hypotenuse. This would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's gonna be cos. So cos of, let me call it theta, is gonna be equal to the adjacent 28 over the hypotenuse. Work that out into theta, duh. I've got that angle there. This angle, therefore, let me call this phi. Phi is gonna equal 90 minus theta. And then I'll have both angles. Right, I think we've got most of what we need because now what we do is we recognize this number here, which is this number here, is also this number here. So this, is the square root of 68 squared minus 28 squared. And in a similar way, the line that would join those two is also gonna be that. So I've got the straights, the straights are done. Now, I've gotta worry about the curve because I need from there around to there. Well, you just worked out this angle here. So, if I know that angle there, wouldn't the same situation replicate itself on the lower side? Everything I've done here would work on this lower side. So if you take this angle and multiply by two, you will have that angle there. Two lots of theta will give you that angle there. Meaning that this one is gonna be 360 minus two lots of theta. Now, why is that important? Well, let's pull this out. Haven't I really got Pac-Man, right? And this angle in here 
This one here is equal to 360 minus 2 theta. So I've got that guy there, and I've got the radius of 60. Well, can't I just work out this? Look, let's do it. 360 minus 2 theta over 360. What's that giving me? That's giving me the fraction of the circle that I have. The fraction of the circle that I have. Now, if I multiply that by 2 times pi times 60, this is the circumference of the entire circle. Multiply it by the section I have, that will give me just that distance there. Then I'll use this guy here, which isn't that this angle right in here. Oops, wrong symbol. That angle right in there. And then in the same way, wouldn't that replicate itself down there? It would, right? Okay. Now, here's the trick. With this one, we've got to recognize that we've got 90 degrees there plus the angle. And on the other side, 90 degrees plus the angle. So this angle in here is actually going to be 360 minus 90 and 90. Well, that's minus 180 minus two lots of uh, this guy here. So that will give me the angle that is there. Divide that by 360 in the same way I did here. And then multiply by 2 pi r, but r is going to be 32. And that part of it will give me this. Then I've just got to go ahead and add this with this with two lots of this. And I've got the whole thing. Hope this one's worked. If, it, uh, if it's a kind of complex, it is. Once you've done a couple of these, they're pretty easy to get. Hope this one's helped. Catch you later, guys.